Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be diving into the world of engine repair by tackling one of the most common and potentially daunting tasks, replacing a cylinder head gasket. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic or a weekend warrior looking to get your hands dirty, this video will guide you through the entire process step by step. We'll cover everything from identifying the telltale signs of a blown gasket to the tools you'll need and the proper techniques for removal and installation. So, if you're ready to learn how to tackle this essential repair and save yourself some serious money in the process, then let's get started. Before diving into repairs, it's crucial to confirm that a blown head gasket is indeed the culprit behind your engine woes. Look for telltale signs like white smoke from the exhaust, coolant leaks, or milky-looking oil. If these symptoms ring a bell, it's time to roll up your sleeves and tackle the issue. Knowledge is power, especially when dealing with intricate automotive repairs. Familiarize yourself with your specific car model's service manual. This invaluable resource will provide detailed instructions, torque specifications, and crucial insights to guide you through the process. Now comes the fun part, gathering the tools and supplies you'll need to conquer this challenge. Make sure you have a complete socket set, a torque wrench, a head gasket set specific to your car model, and any additional tools. Mentioned in your service manual, don't forget to stock up on fresh coolant and oil as you'll be replacing both during the repair. Choose a clean, well-lit workspace with ample room to maneuver around your car. Ensure you have proper ventilation to avoid inhaling harmful fumes. Remember, safety first. Before getting your hands dirty, it's essential to disconnect the battery's negative terminal. This crucial step prevents any electrical hazards during the repair process. Next, drain the engine coolant and oil, following the instructions in your service manual. Remember to dispose of these fluids responsibly, respecting environmental regulations. Now, it's time to remove various components that obstruct access to the cylinder head. This may include the intake manifold, exhaust manifold, valve cover, and other parts as specified in your service manual. Be meticulous and organized, keeping track of all removed parts and their locations. With the ancillary components out of the way, you can finally remove the cylinder head. This is a critical step so follow the instructions in your service manual carefully. Pay close attention to the head bolt tightening sequence and torque specifications to avoid damaging the engine. Once the cylinder head is removed, thoroughly inspect it and the engine block for any damage or warping. If you find any irregularities, it's crucial to address them before proceeding with the gasket replacement. Before installing the new gasket, meticulously clean the mating surfaces of the cylinder head and block. Use a scraper and solvent to remove any Thonle Wu, ensuring a perfect seal for the new gasket. Now, carefully position the new head gasket onto the engine block, aligning it precisely with the dowel pins. Double-check your service manual to ensure proper placement. With the new gasket in place, carefully lift the cylinder head and position it back onto the engine block. Tighten the head bolts in the correct sequence and to the specified torque values, as outlined in your service manual. This step is crucial for ensuring a proper seal and preventing future problems. Once the cylinder head is securely fastened, start reinstalling the ancillary components you removed earlier. Follow the reverse order of removal, ensuring everything is connected correctly and tightened to the appropriate specifications. With the engine reassembled, refill the cooling system with fresh coolant and the crankcase with new oil. Refer to your service manual for the correct fluid types and capacities. Finally, reconnect the battery's negative terminal. Your car is now ready to roar back to life. Before hitting the road, start the engine and let it run for a few minutes. Check for any leaks around the cylinder head and ensure everything is functioning correctly. If you notice any irregularities, address them immediately. Once you're confident everything is in order, take your car for a test drive. Monitor the engine temperature and listen for any unusual noises. If everything seems normal, congratulations. You've successfully replaced your cylinder head gasket. Remember, this script is just a starting point. You can add your own personal touches and insights to make the video even more engaging and informative for your viewers. All right, folks, with the car prepped and ready, it's time to dive into the heart of the matter, disassembling the engine. This is where things get a bit more technical, so pay close attention and don't hesitate to pause or rewind if needed. First things first, let's drain the engine coolant and oil. Remember, safety first. Wear gloves and eye protection, 
and dispose of the fluids responsibly. Once drained, we can move on to disconnecting the battery and removing all electrical components attached to the engine. This includes the spark plugs, ignition wires, sensors, and anything else that might hinder our access to the cylinder head. Next up, we'll tackle the intake and exhaust manifolds. Carefully remove all the bolts and detach them from the cylinder head. Be mindful of any gaskets or seals that might come loose during this process. We'll need to replace those later. Now it's time to remove the valve cover. This will give us access to the rocker arms and valve train, which we'll need to remove next. Be sure to keep all the parts organized, as we'll need to put them back in the exact same order later. With the valve train out of the way, we can finally loosen the cylinder head bolts. This is a crucial step, so follow the manufacturer's recommended torque sequence and specifications. Once the bolts are loose, carefully lift the cylinder head off the engine block. Be careful, as it can be quite heavy. Now that the cylinder head is off, it's time for a thorough inspection. Look for any signs of damage, cracks, or warping. If you find anything concerning, you might need to have the head resurfaced or replaced. Next, check the cylinder head gasket itself. Look for any signs of wear, tear, or leaks. If the gasket is damaged, it's definitely time for a replacement. While you're at it, take a good look at the valves and valve seats. Make sure they're clean and free of carbon buildup. If necessary, give them a good cleaning or have them professionally reconditioned. All right, folks, we're almost there. With the cylinder head inspected and cleaned, it's time to put everything back together. This is essentially the reverse of the disassembly process, so follow the steps carefully and don't skip any details. Start by installing a new cylinder head gasket, making sure it's properly aligned and seated. Then, carefully lower the cylinder head back onto the engine block and tighten the bolts to the manufacturer's specifications. Next, reinstall the valve train, rocker arms, and valve cover. Don't forget to replace any gaskets or seals that you removed during disassembly. Now, it's time to reconnect the intake and exhaust manifolds, as well as all the electrical components we disconnected earlier. Don't forget to refill the engine with fresh oil and coolant. Finally, double-check everything to make sure it's properly connected and tightened. Once you're satisfied, reconnect the battery and give your engine a test run. If everything went well, you should be back on the road in no time.